And the next album card for your pair, it's a 390X. Uh, it's a reference card. Yeah, I have cooling system over here. Um, so yeah, it's a reference card. And by the way, I have another 390X. From time to time, I buy cards for uh, parts or probably repair. This card I got for $100 uh, from eBay. If there is an interesting problem, I'll make a video. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show that, yeah, references. Reference cards, they're not that great, but they're still okay. And this one, a uh, customer sent me out. Uh, he provided me a letter as well, so it does power on, but it will actually, yeah, I took a coolant system out, but a uh, fan spin, spins up. So that's probably what he means by powers on. Uh, but it will not. Uh, display video whatsoever. I opened it to check the thermal increase and I found out that the problem could have been due to overheat due to overheating during intensive gaming. Nah, so why will it well, uh, I mean I'd say 80% not just on graphic cards due to overheating. Uh, all problems come up due to overheating and end up blowing up one of the capacitors R15. Never seen marking on capacitors starting from R, but we will have a look. Uh, so please check the entire PCB for uh, other imperfection problems, and I hope you can give the good news uh, and be able to fix it. Thanks. So let's go over it and see what it does. How I said when you turn it on, fans are spinning. By the way. And um, yep, let's measure first. Let's measure it up. See a crystal not getting hot. It stacks on 2E. Yep, stacks on 2E. And let's go over all powers. So let's start from uh, from uh, from uh, chip. Okay, on the chip we have 0 0.6 volt. On the memory we have 0. Ouch! 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 I think ouch! It's really yeah, it's hot. I think on the back we have drivers and a capacitors and something, but probably it's keys. Okay, let's go over keys. It's somewhere here. Like this one. Ouch, yes, this key is really getting hot. Yeah, this one. Okay, try to remember it's uh, one, two, it's the third one from my bottom. Just check it out how I burn out my finger when I just touch the motherboard. Um, so, yeah, eventually I decided to take uh, whole uh, top shoulders and actually not in vain. Uh, because they all look kind of suspicious and uh, if we actually have a look it's all of them have kind of crease yeah so uh, on a drain from this side they all have kind of crease and, um, and the reason why I took all of them because uh, for those MOSFETs the whole case is just a drain it's a drain so there is to, to, to get into uh, source uh, and a gate, yeah, those two dots. The smallest one is a gate, and the uh, biggest one is a uh, source. Uh, so, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, here we go, all five of them, and we will check them real quick. Oh, oh, this one is actually dead at all. This one, uh, the uh, the source pin just just broke off. So one of them we have dead. Second one, honestly, I would change all of them, but I don't think I have a lot of those transistors. This one is dead. Okay, let's see once again. Oh, man. Yeah, this one is dead. This one sort of okay this one is dead and uh, <clears throat> this one a 
What's up? Well, actually, all of them are dead. Yeah, all of them look like suspicious. All of them suspicious. All of them needs to be replaced. Yes, uh, actually, I have on me. Uh, it's, uh, I think it though R9, R290. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, it's R9290, 4 GB uh, version though. But yeah, everything else is the same as uh, same uh, <coughs> same power circuit, same uh, motherboards. Uh, uh, everything is the same. Yes, this one just say 8 gigabyte, this one 4 gigabyte, and the chip itself is another one. Yeah, I remember this one customer left me because yeah, after taking out the coils, it was short with the GPU, so GPU was bad, and customer just left me this uh, motherboard. See, thank you so much. This is very helpful. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take my time, uh, take those transistors out, and on this graphic card, uh, the customer graphic card. <sighs> uh, yeah, I actually took a button shoulder and button shoulder looks or uh, uh, lower shoulder looks fine, but uh, uh, yeah, I think it's not gonna be just uh, transistors, it's those drivers as well went out. Uh, yeah, this is a hard case, and uh, I mean, I already have another video how. I do diagnostic on those. Uh, this video I wouldn't even actually make it, but customer just ask, can you make a video? So this video are more like uh, confirmation of a work. And then uh, how we can see, uh, we have a gate in short, and uh, that's basically almost on all phases. Uh, this one is fine though, and uh, I think this one is fine. Yeah, those two fine, but all others in short. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna take my time, replace all uh, drivers and uh, replace the uh, shoulders since I have it, mm. and show the result. That's how many bad elements uh, this card had. And actually, agreed the person pays twice because, uh, yeah, I took uh, three drivers which were insured, and uh, then the car still didn't work. Then I had to take top shoulders once again, check all gates, and found out one more driver is out. Um, <clears throat> it's okay, but yeah, just double work. And let's see what it does right now. Oh, yep, I ha kind of have a dock. But, okay, let's see uh, what our car does right now. Okay. Uh, crystal getting hot. We have a picture. Oops, again, extremely hot. So, yeah. Or disassemble the graphic card, put in your camera paste, and um, so long so far everything is good. The latest driver was installed, and um, yeah, yeah, I played as well. I, I mean, I've already been testing this card for quite a long time, now, but yeah. <clears throat> So long so far, how I say, it uh, looks everything good. I'm gonna play a couple of games and uh, just to confirm that everything is perfect. 
So yeah, this card looks like fixed.